Hey everybody, I've gotten a couple of questions about how to create sloped walls in Revit, so I'm going to show you a pretty simple way to do it. I've created a floor here, which in elevation you can see is on level 1, and I've created a level 2, which is 12 feet above level 1. You can choose whatever you want. But let's say we want to create a sloped wall that's from level 1 to level 2, but also offset, uh, let's say, 3 feet. Uh, here's how I would approach it in the simplest way. I want to actually conceptually think of it as two lines describing a, slo a sloped wall one on the first floor and one on the second floor. To create those lines, I'm going to create an in-place mass. And this is where you're going to go to create any kind of complicated shape like a sloped wall or a curved wall, uh, since Revit uh, generically does not support these kind of shapes as well. So I'm going to name this mass something like sloped wall. Hit OK. And now I'm going to have drawing uh, features and tools. I'm going to create a line, and I'm working already in the first floor. I'm going to create a line like this that's 30 feet. And you can see that this line is sitting on the floor. I'm going to select this line, and I'm actually going to copy it and then paste it. I'm going to click the down arrow and align to selected levels. I'm going to pick level 2, and it's going to copy that line and paste it directly above the original line, but 12 feet up. And then I'm going to move this line 3 feet over. Now you can see that they are over offset a little bit. Now if I select both lines, then a new option is going to come up called Create Form. And if I just hover over this a little bit, you'll see what the intent is. It's going to take different 2D planes and then sweep a 3D form over them. If you've used SolidWorks before, this is called a loft, essentially. If I click that, it's going to give me a couple of options I don't actually want, um, which are circles based on the two lines I've created. The third option is the sloped wall we want. So I'm going to select that, finished mass. Now this isn't actually a wall yet. This is a sloped wall, um, which is uh, actually just a plane. It's describing what could be a wall. To actually create a wall there, I'm going to go to massing and site. I'm going to select model by face and choose the wall. And when I actually select that wall, it's going to place a 8 inch wall right in the center line of that. And with the original mass in place, I can choose to hide that or not. But you essentially have a real wall in place now, which is sloped. It has actual material properties. Um, one thing that's strange is this new tool saying update to face. And that basically means that if I move this wall away and then click that, it's going to take it right back to where it was because it's linked to the mass object we created at the beginning. So essentially, to change this wall, you need to change that object. Now, you can have this wall interact with uh, normal walls. Let's say I want to create, it, create the other edge of this building. Uh, I created the normal way. Obviously, it hasn't snapped to this yet. So I'm going to have to edit the profile and move this over so that it connects uh, in geometry. Oops. Do that way. Remove constraint and then snap over. Click OK. And you'll see that they're more in tune, and you can, uh, to get a better fit, you can align these two sides and then join the two pieces together. And that's essentially it. You've created uh, two walls to maybe work better with the architect's demands. You can continue to work with these um, and experiment different ways in which you can use the in-place mass tool. Uh, but this is uh, by far the easiest way to create a sloped wall in Revit.